Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love and the adopted home of Benjamin Franklin, a true American polymath. Born in Boston, Franklin was a freethinker and a rebel even as a young boy. Wasting no time during his breaks from work, he not only read voraciously, but also became an exceptional writer. In an era when women were treated unequal and considered to be property of men, his young mind believed and promoted women's equality by writing very popular letters under the pseudonym of a middle-aged widow, Silence Dugood. Franklin's free-thinking mind expanded further when he traveled to London at the age of 17 during the Enlightenment period. He regularly visited the coffee houses where new, rational, and radical ideas were discussed. His earlier writing suggests that he embraced some of those ideas and did not hesitate to express his own ideas, even if controversial. Franklin returned to Philadelphia a responsible man and told himself to be frugal. Through industry, he became a prosperous businessman, printing the highly popular Poor Richard Almanac. He entertained the readers with wise as well as humorous aphorisms. At age 21, along with 12 of his friends, he formed Junto, a secret society of leather apron wearing tradesmen to symbolize hard work and started the Library Company of Philadelphia, the first lending library. The society stood for self-improvement, study, and mutual benefit. It eventually became American Philosophical Society, nation's first learned society to exchange scientific knowledge. Franklin's belief in self-reliance, civic responsibility, and volunteerism made him organize citizens to pave the roads and light the streets. He created the first fire department, the Bucket Brigades. He was also responsible for the first hospital in America, the Pennsylvania Hospital, as well as the first non-religious college that became University of Pennsylvania. Franklin was concerned with potential loss of nation's forests and invented efficient Pennsylvania fireplace that produced more heat but consumed less wood. He simplified the clock and invented bifocals. It's worthy of mention that Franklin, who believed in common good, never patented any of his inventions. Retiring wealthy at the age of 42, Franklin devoted his life to his passion, science. He was fascinated by the phenomenon of electricity. His famous kite experiment confirmed the electrical nature of lightning, for which he received the Copley Medal, British equivalent of Nobel Prize. Franklin believed in useful knowledge. He applied his scientific observations for practical use, similar to our basic science applied for clinical benefit. His lightning rod continues to this day to save buildings throughout the world from destruction caused by lightning fires. Franklin was a shrewd politician and a uniter. A staunch loyalist in his early life, he rallied the colonies to join forces during French-Indian War. But January 29th of 1774 turned out to be a dark and transformative day for Franklin in London. He was accused of being responsible for the rebellion of the colonies and humiliated. Coming back to the colonies, the loyalists turned into a revolutionary for liberty and democracy. On the occasion of the Declaration of Independence, Franklin emphasized the need for unity. As an enlightened man who believed in pluralism as well as tolerance for all religious faiths, Franklin rewrote some of Jefferson's words in the Declaration of Independence. He was also a master of social networking with the French aristocratic men and women and used that skill for the cause of American Revolution. During difficult Revolutionary War, he secured a commerce and defense agreement with France. 
In 1783, he was one of the founders that signed the Peace Treaty of Paris, which ended the Revolutionary War. During Constitutional Convention, Franklin, known as the Sage of the Convention, brokered the ultimate compromise in the acceptance of the Constitution by the Federation. It was no accident that Franklin was the only man whose signature is on all the four important documents in the history of America. As the last public service, Franklin agreed to be elected as president of the Pennsylvania Society for the Promoting of the Abolition of Slavery. He freed his slaves. In addition to being a tireless scientist and inventor, the everlasting legacy of Benjamin Franklin is his indispensable influence in achieving independence for America, the creation of democratic society that permits ordinary citizens to protect their own life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness.